<clears throat> so, um, both for-profit and not-for-profit organizations increasingly use big data not only to study what has happened, which is called data analytics, but also to predict future trends, which is called predictive analytics. With certain notable exceptions, such as student recruitment in US institutions and compulsive evaluations of research productivity in the UK and Australia, academia has generally lagged behind other sectors, other sectors in its use of big data. <clears throat> One domain that has moved halfway into collecting and analyzing big data is scholarly publishing, whose stakeholders of varying size include libraries and other research institutions, learned societies, for-profit publishers, and not-for-profit publishers. So um, when I say big data and scholarly publishing, what am I talking about here? So this is not data sets created by researchers or other types of research outputs, where we sometimes call them research data, but I'm talking about big data about published research. <clears throat> so what kind of big data about published research? So this is data generated by publishers and aggregators of content, such as purchasing data, licensing data, online usage data, web analytics, and even subject classifications of products. Um, but also um, data from research institutions. So for example, library data, a few types are given here, and um, what might be called structured productivity data that comes out of these sort of online faculty CV systems. Um, they go by many names. Um, perhaps you know Chris, um, but RIMS, people call them many different things, and they're all more or less the same. <clears throat> but I'm also talking about data from uh, third parties. So for example, bibliometric services and social networking sites. So um, all of these, like other forms of big data, can be used for various types of assessment, but also for predictive analytics. For example, which types of publications are most likely to be purchased, used, and cited. So gathering, integrating, interpreting, and reporting data about published research takes a lot of time and expertise, not something that many publishers and libraries, especially smaller not-for-profit ones, have a lot of. These publishers and libraries struggle to identify, much less predict, uh, important usage trends and opportunities through which they might uh, extend their impact. But it's not just data collection and analysis that are expensive. There are also concerns about the use of analytics by those who can afford to collect and analyze the data. So what if we formed a cooperative of libraries, scholarly societies, publishers, aggregators, and other stakeholders who would each contribute to the governance of this cooperative, this member organization? What if the members contributed data that they create about scholarly communication, so their kind of small view of the world, to this cooperative, and then the cooperative, thanks to um, fees paid by its members, had the staff and tools to aggregate, normalize, and contextualize this data for its members? showing them how their little piece of the world, the data that they uh, gathered and contributed, uh, relates to that of all the members, but in a way that would adhere to a code of conduct um, the, about the sort of ethics on this use of data here. There's really much to be worked out here, and perhaps these ideas are already premature, and it would be safer for me to say simply that a community of stakeholders would come together to jointly develop governance, sustainability, and ethical frameworks for how data about publications should be gathered, analyzed, and shared. Um, I'd like to think that such a cooperative, let's call it a publishing analytics data alliance, could be designed to provide something of value to even the largest commercial players, and that a shared governance model would ensure a continued community voice in how data about publications is gathered, analyzed, and used. We really do need, do the, need the involvement of as many stakeholders as possible. We can't just convene a group of experts to propose the whole model and then expect everyone else to jump on board. If they don't feel invested from the start, it won't go anywhere. So um, the vision I've just uh, outlined is something I've been developing with some colleagues here. Um, you can find out more information here. Um, we are interested in hearing from others on their thoughts. Um, we want to do an environmental scan, and, uh, but we, none of us have time for it. And so uh, if you uh, have some ideas of how we can move forward on that, um, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks. <clears throat>